how to add a picture to a video. As a travel content creator myself, I find that adding pictures to my videos is a fantastic way to give context. It provides a point of reference, it makes my videos more visually engaging, and it breaks up the monotony of looking at this face for the entirety of the video. So in this short tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I add pictures to my videos easily. Now, not only that, we're actually going to style them, we're gonna take our video up a level. By animating our photos, we're gonna have multiple pictures on screen at once. I'm also gonna show you how to resize and reshape your photos and lastly we're going to add sound effects for that bigger impact. Let's begin. For this I'm going to use an easy online editor called Veed. Now I want to create a travel video to show off my trip highlights. So we're going to hop right onto Veed here and let's start with uploading my video. I'm going to click upload a file and I'm going to select my clip. Now once that's loaded we can move on to adding our pictures, so click media in the toolbar and then click upload a file. I'm now going to select multiple photos at once and you could also upload a brand or a business logo here, it's entirely up to you. Give the photos here a moment to load and then we're going to place and style them. Pick up the first photo that you want to appear in your video and you are going to place it on the timeline where you would like it to pop up on screen. I'm now going to scale it up here, I'm going to pull on the corner and side toggles and then click hold and drag it to where I would like it to sit on the screen. Now that looks good but I can actually make it look a bit better so let's rotate it slightly, we're going to click hold and we're going to pull here left or right where you see the circle icon with the two arrows. I can also round the corners of my picture by switching on the round corner toggle and the higher the number that I input the more rounded it becomes. I can also lower the opacity, I can flip my picture horizontally or vertically and if I click adjust here I can play around with the color correction and the effects. Sometimes I think it looks actually really nice to turn up the vignette and it's going to add a nice faded border to my pictures. Click back and then the final thing that we can add to style our pictures on our video is adding an animation. Click animations and then I'm going to hover my mouse over each one to see it in effect and then I'm going to select my favorite. Now you can change the effect duration for both in and out and lastly we can shorten or extend the length of time that our picture remains on our video and you can have multiple pictures on screen at once here simply by picking up your next photo, layering it on top of your original one and then you can repeat the process of resizing and styling it. Then you're going to repeat this as many times as you like with all of your remaining pictures. Now our video with pictures is looking great but let's take it up to the next level by adding in some sound effects to give it that bigger impact when our photo animation pops up on screen. Sound effects are a really simple way to give your video a sense of realism and professionalism. So with that said, put your play ahead to the point in the video that your first photo appears on screen and then you're going to click audio in the toolbar. Scroll down to sound effects, hit search, type in the name of the sound effect to match your picture animation and I'm going to put in pop here and you'll see I've got several different options to choose from. Click the play button to hear it and then click the plus sign to add it to your video. Now you can keep repeating this for all remaining photos and then once you finish that we can go ahead and we can export our video with pictures. Click done in the top right hand corner and click where it says quality. Then you're going to choose your render settings, go back and click export video. Give that a moment here to render and once it's done we can watch it back to see how it turned out. Join us as we spend 48 hours in Grace's capital. We pretend to be cultured at the monuments, get lost in the back streets, indulge in heroes, relax on rooftops and visit the ultimate insta-worthy cafe. This is Athens. Lastly click download and download mp4. And that's how to add a picture to a video. To learn how to add video to video you can click here on screen. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.